Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. What if you had a funeral for a family member and the wrong damn person was in the casket? A family in Mississippi says that happened to them. Mary Jean Robinson's family arrived at the funeral exactly two weeks ago. They said it was supposed to be her, but it was somebody else <laughs> in her clothes. No, and, and she was nowhere to be found. It's one of our hot topics tonight. Joining us to talk about it, radio host Layla E., kinkologist Lady McCallan, and radio personality KG Smooth. Lady McCallum, what would you do in a situation I mean, like that? come on now. This is, you know me, I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit ratchet, so I'd probably throw hands. Like, I mean, <laughs> you're going to see somebody that's I'm not your family. I'm going to I'm going to flip the casket. Like, I mean, it's going to be a knee-jerk reaction for everybody involved. So, Absolutely. yeah, that, that's not okay. In any way, shape, or form, that's not okay. It is just traumatizing of to a family, right, Lady? I mean, Harpo, who is this woman, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. It's like you would have a lot of mixed reactions, but it's more so the fact that there's someone else wearing your loved one's right. garments that is the more shocking thing. Because I could understand a mix-up, but you would undress a whole damn wrong person? That's not okay. KG, Absolutely. would you be in there taking clothes off Absolutely. at the funeral? Absolutely. We are going ape sh crazy in there. Seriously. Like, how dare they? And then I'm going to sue exactly. afterwards. How dare they? Like, yeah. where is the body? Where is my family member? Like, and you know, in, in a lot of these funeral homes, this has been exposed now that they have been, like, organ harvesting. So maybe they might took her and then, you know, it, it could be deeper than rap. Now, be careful with that KG Smooth. Not a lot. There are only a couple of cases. Well, well, well all right. <laughs> Next case. A chaplain at Rhodes College is being criticized for trying to organize a BDSM 101 workshop. Why is a chaplain okay. trying to organize this? Okay, listen. That's your job. Listen, okay. No. Okay, so there, there's different factors Okay, really quick, this. though, for those who are not familiar, okay. what is BDSM? Okay, so it's basically kink. It's basically bondage, submission, masochism, sadism, okay? So it's basically just anything you think about being kink-related. Like spanking that ass. It could be, yeah, choking, spanking, anything, role Show playing. me an example with Layla E. Oh, oh, girl, oh, no, you need consent for that. We'll talk about that later. Later. Okay. I see what you did there. Right, yeah. No, but, but I mean, honestly, like, this is, these are college kids. We should have introductory sex ed starting in, like, puberty age, right? Why don't we? Because we're a horrible country when it comes to sex education. Now, these are college kids. These are not children. They are young adults. Would you rather your daughter learn about this from a professional dominatrix who can teach her about consent or Chad, the frat guy who thinks he's an alpha? There you go. Layla, mm -hmm. your thoughts on this chaplain teaching this? You know what? I actually don't think it's a problem. It's a lot better than going to X videos and trying to discover it yourself and then choke yourself to death or yeah. have somebody else do something. So I honestly really think that this is something that is needed. And like you said, is a needed. lot earlier on, these are adults. They've been doing way worse. All right, let's hear from Listen, these church folk are the freakiest. Mm -hmm. So I, can, I am I not surprised because they, the, the they, they are the freakiest ones. They're going to get me canceled tonight. <laughs> They're the freakiest ones. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll be right back.